Good morning, Nigerians. My name is Komedia Kuba Brazak, the executive president of All Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria. First and foremost, I would like to celebrate and congratulate all the Muslim brothers in Grand Community. I said Eid il Mubarak. I pray may this Eid fill our heart, all our desires and dreams, fulfilled our desires in this grand community, which is nothing but disbursement. I pray that may God bring peace and tranquility, unity, that will enhance us to get this common pursuit. As I said and have been saying, and some of you know me to be, I am a peacemaker and I will never allow anything that will breach the peace desired or required in this grand community for us to get our desired goal, which is disbursement. But however, that will not stop me not to take responsibility of some of the certain things that has happened since the meeting or after the meeting we held with the government committee. Even though I could not stop some of those actions as a result of my limited time at this very moment, for every Muslim faithful all over the world, we know that this very moment is a special one for us and it's a moment where Muslims get committed to their Creator, observe all the spiritual rights. I have been in seclusion after that meeting, especially that of yesterday. My phone was not available in most of the time. I want to tell Nigerians that if only I have the opportunity to listen to that voice, I would have stopped it not to go out. However, I am aware that a lot of things have been going on since that meeting we had with the government committee. A lot of pervasive and toxic voice note has been spread all over the social media as a result of the rumor. I have to take responsibility because I could have put my people in order by giving them the update of the reality that happened before it was being manipulated by some selfish individuals. As a result of the voice note going on, pervasive and manipulative voice note going on, that has led to provocation of some of my executives without waiting to hear from me, led them to search on call brokers against certain personalities. I want to sincerely apologize to the government committee, especially in the person of Samuel Agbasi. I want to tell Nigerians, please, there are a lot of misinformation that was made in that broadcast. Maybe as a result of rumor. I want to tell Nigerians, Samuel Abbasi is not an enemy to disbursement, neither is it an enemy to organ pressure group of Nigeria. The meeting we had with the best of my knowledge with him last time, it is a fear one to the best of my knowledge. And he delivered the message accordingly because he is not acting on his own, rather by the people that sent him. And I have no reason to think otherwise anything against him about that meeting. So whoever might have been misinformed or whoever might have, have been conceived with the information in that broadcast of my executive in person of Comrade Orwell, please, I want you to reverse your mind and forgive us for the sake of Almighty God. Don't create any tension or any provocation against that person. Don't make any further pressure on him. He's only acting according to the instruction given to him. And nothing has gone wrong with the best of my knowledge. He was able to put this in order and reconcile the group. And he 
put this accordingly. Give us our right and the right of our fellow colleagues in person of Apostle Ken Wakama. So I see no reason why I should act or make anything against him. So please, I want Nigerians to listen attentively. There is nothing important to us now than disbursement. I don't mind if my interests have to be compromised. I have given up everything I have and I am willing to do more as far as it will bring disbursement. Me, Comrade Yakub Abrazak, I have got a long way in this grand community. And I want to tell Nigerians, I will never be a barrier. I'm repeating myself over and over. I will never be a barrier that will cause delay or stop this disbursement. However, somebody might have misinterpreted the scenario yesterday to put the blame and responsibility of any failure, to put the blame on all pressure group if any failure arises. But I want to tell Nigerians, we have never tried or caused any action to delay this disbursement. I will never do that. Even though when certain mistakes happen, I will not hesitate to take responsibility and to correct this and put the right thing in order. As a leader, we should always learn to take responsibility. As a leader, we should always learn to cheer from whatever blame, even though if you are not a reason or the causes of such. So I'm taking blame for the action of the executive member. I'm taking blame of the member of AGPGN. And I'm taking blame of everything that happened. Not for any reason, not because I instigated it, not because I made it to happen, but because I have to do that for the end to be gotten, which is disbursement. And as I am talking right now, whatsoever it is that will bring disbursement, please, even though I don't know, I should be told and I should be directed, I will not hesitate to do it. Let disbursement happen, let everyone have their peace. If this will be the last thing I will do, I will happily do it for this boss to happen. I want Nigeria to stay calm. I want the community to stay calm and to stop placing any kind of pressure against the person of Samuel Abasi. He is not our problem. We are the problem to ourselves. And all Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria, we have used but we want to use this medium to tell Nigerians that if our interest or our whatever is due for us, we require us to compromise it for disbursement to happen, we will not hesitate to do it. God knows who is saying tr the truth. God knows who is standing for the truth. And God knows who is manipulating and deceiving the system. God will surely judge all of us and our action in this community. And surely whatever you sow, you will reap. So I'm not in any way afraid of anything. The only person I'm afraid of is God Almighty, my creator. Because I'm responsible to him. Whatever my action, I will surely account for it. So grand community, don't allow anything to influence you into any kind of tension now as the blessing which we have been praying and asking God for is already here with us. And all Grand Pressure Group will do everything for you to get to you. No matter what you take, we are ready to for it. This is not a voice of defeat, but this is a voice of courage and this is a voice of leadership. And this is the voice of responsibility. As we have all known us for, we have been doing this. We are still ready to do more. We, Organ Pressure Group of Nigeria, we are nothing. But we are just paid in the hands of our Creator. We believe whatever we are doing, God is the one directing our action. We are not perfect. We can make mistakes. But we will not hesitate 
to come back to the cycle. We will not hesitate to ask for repentance. We will not hesitate to get the correction done of whatever mistake we might have done. The most important thing is for the result to be gotten. On this note, I want to enjoy fellow colleagues. I want to enjoy all the members to remain calm. What is very important, what is most important is for this disbursement to happen. And we are ready to pay the price for this disbursement to happen. Once again, my name is Comrade Yakub Abrazak, the Executive President of Foreground Pressure Group of Nigeria. Have a nice day.